Well, a parent makes a frantic 911 call and firefighters are usually quick to respond. But once they arrive, are they trained to deal with some of the unique challenges in treating kids? Many firefighters are not. So today they attended a special training program. NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favre joins us in San Jose with the details. Good evening, Marianne. Good evening, Raj. Well, I'm here at fire station number one on Market Street in San Jose. When firefighters respond to an emergency, those first minutes of medical care are critical. But when they go to help a young child, often that child is too young to communicate with them what's wrong. That's just one of the unique challenges that firefighters learn to overcome today during a special training session. Please don't let her die. A frantic mom. You have an ED doc on the other end of the phone. A young girl caught in the crossfire. Blood everywhere. This is a training scenario, but these first responders know in a real emergency, every second counts. What's unique about this drill in Menlo Park is all the patients are kids. Pediatric patients are not little adults, and to try to use adult equipment on children is very difficult. And so they've, we've been able to expose them to different ways to deliver medication to deliver um, IV fluids, um, to be able to measure how much fluid to give. Better air movement by far. Today, Lucille Packard Children's Hospital partnered with Bay Area firefighters to improve care for kids facing medical emergencies. The training, using pediatric mannequins, is the first of its kind in the nation. I came over, this child had that swing wrapped around his neck. The scenarios look real because they are all based on real life emergencies experienced by children in the Bay Area. Okay. Treating kids in the field can be tough. They often are too young to communicate and one size does not fit all. On any given day, firefighters may be helping a newborn, toddler or school aged child. So medication doses have to be adjusted based on their size. That's why firefighters now carry special pediatric charts and equipment. Good. We come right here and we're right on blue. Everyone's going to pull out the blue bag. So we know all our medications here. We hope that these few minutes, these critical few minutes are enough that they are able to bring a child alive with a pulse, breathing to the emergency department where we can take over. He's convinced teaching first responders how to treat the smallest patients here will help them survive the biggest emergencies. Lucille Packard Children's Hospital will hold two other training sessions on October 26th and 27th. A total of 200 firefighters will be trained. Reporting live in San Jose, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News. Okay, thanks, Marianne.